much do uh, family planning programs save the taxpayer? You know, things like birth control and comprehensive sex education. According to analysis by the Guttmacher Institute, these programs do save billions of dollars by avoiding unintended pregnancies. For example, in 2010, publicly funded family planning clinics prevented 2.2 million unplanned pregnancies. Damn, that's a lot. Resulting in, of course, far less Medicaid spending, <clears throat> as well as less maternity and infant care. Because of that, and because of savings to those programs, the government ended up saving about a total of $13.6 billion, or roughly $7 for every uh, dollar spent. Now, that's amazing, and I mean, it shouldn't be surprising because kids are incredibly expensive. So if you prevent people from having kids that they can't take care of, that's a boon to the taxpayers. So it always makes me wonder why the conservative position is, if, if they really were intent on saving the taxpayer money, which of course they're not, they would be all for birth control. They would be all for uh, access to safe legal abortion. But of course they're not. So I want to get your thoughts on this. Woohoo! I can control my vagina once again. This is an exciting day, guys. Exciting Ooh. day. It's just, it's just, it feels crazy sometimes being a woman in this country when we don't have fights over guys reproductive. You know what I mean? We're not like every man should get a vasectomy until he's married and then he can get a reverse and have, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, our, our society, like, pushes men to, like, go make babies. But women, like, you can only have a baby if you're married in a Christian household and you stay at home and cook. <laughs> you know? Like, so it's, it's really nice that it's, like, the evidence is coming out that, hey, when women can take control of their bodies and their reproductive rights, we can go be just as productive out in the real world as anybody else. <laughs> and we can save you, the taxpayers, money by not having babies when we're not ready to have babies and then needing welfare and other programs to help raise our babies. Once again, it, it, it brings me to why, um, to, to what's wrong with our social conservatives in the country that are like, no, abstinence only. You will not learn about sex whatsoever. And you will not have birth control. Why should I pay for you to have sex? So we don't have to pay for your fucking kids later on because you know nothing about sex and know nothing about pregnancy. And then get yourself pregnant because, let's face it, we're humans. Humans want to fuck. It's a natural thing. And you can't, you literally can't stop two people from, from having sex. You can't do it. And so what, what they're doing is that they're making people that, are, that can't make their own choices, that can't make good choices good choices because studies have shown that the more you educate someone, you know, teenagers about sex and show them their options, the less they go out and have sex for one, because they understand the repercussions of it. And two, if they do, they actually are more apt to go out and protect themselves, use condoms, use birth control, and actually make smart decisions when it comes to family planning. But well, no, what? this comes down to um, social conservatives Basically, have you ever heard of the Quiverful movement? It's sort of like that. Oh God, yes, I have. That yes, social scary. conservatives, like you know, like there's a there's an extreme sect of social conservatives, like the Duggars, that basically see children as ammunition in 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 the cultural war, and they the use children to try and take over America by having so many kids that they out like that they, you know, outdo us in population. They outnumber us so then they can take over. It's crazy, it's creepy, and there's a lot of conservatives, social conservatives, that believe that. And it goes also to the religious right angle of this whole thing, is that they're like, well, yeah, abortion is wrong, abortion is wrong. Okay, fine. Abortion, you may not agree with it. Nobody likes, like, I, I, I tend to think that everybody is pro-life. We don't like the idea of abortion, but you know what? It's there. It's not our decision to make. It is their right to do so. And if you really want to prevent abortion, you will actually be in favor of sex education and fucking birth control. Well, what always blows my mind is look at um, back in, I, I don't know, when 2012, when Sarah Palin was, like, all about an absence only kind of state 
And her daughter got pregnant, and she couldn't put two and two together. Like, no teaching about condoms, babies coming out of vagina. I don't... I'll, Wait, it's not the stork? What the yeah. fuck? I thought it was the stork. Like, it, you don't have to... You can, like, teach it along. You know what I mean? You can be like, oh, hey, the 100% safest way to prevent pregnancy, not have sex. But if you are feeling a little frisky... Use a condom. Use like, if you are an actual human being with, you know, needs and, and, and desires, as we all are, then if you're going to engage in this risky behavior, you should at least protect yourself and be able to... And the state's... Why don't we get, um, like, uh, not low jack, but what's the other thing, you know? You know the cars have the lock thing on the... Put one on the vagina. You know what I'm talking about? For for the um for ve vehicles where, really, where really, if if they could find some way to mandate that I think some <laughs> conservatives would be it's like we, I'm gonna low jack that shit. <laughs> I'm low jack your vagina, Lucy. Your Wait, vagina is low jack. No, one thing I have to say is I'm really lucky as a woman to live here in the United States and not in like. Nigeria, or some of those countries where they practice female circumcision because they believe I might enjoy sex and it could potentially kill any boy babies. Like, <laughs> like at least we have that little bit of, hey, penis inside vagina makes a baby. Like, that little bit of education. Like, we're that much farther ahead of, like, some countries, though. So.